this fifth video we will drill the holes, we will mount the pay tray flap, we will mount motors, motor holders, coupler, shanks, propellers, we will glue in the transducer, we will outside mount the weed guards and we will ensure that everything is totally waterproof and only then in the coming video we will install the rest of the components. I'm gonna start to cut a hole for the Raymarine transducer but before I begin I got some questions could I also do this boat build with a deeper and of course you can. The first time I built it was with a deeper chirp plus. To build using a deeper you just cut a hole 42 millimeter in diameter, glue it from the inside and then finish up with some gluing also on the outside. But back to our Raymarine. I was lucky to get hold of a template that I printed. Uh, this fits the recess here really well, perfect alignment. So uh, just needed to make sure uh, that this uh, template sits really really well and then with great care I'm going to mark using a needle uh, and scrape out a pattern for where to do my cuts. So you really have to be patient here, you don't want to do this wrong. After making sure that I've had uh, scraped with a needle all around the edges, I can then remove this template and then the real fun begins starting with a Dremel. <laughs> The opening is obviously too coarse and we need to file it down until it fits exactly. Be really really patient here, you don't want to make this hole too large. And then finally, test it out, it should stand a little below the keel and as you see here a detail from the front. The long thin part is mostly in flush slightly lower than uh, the keel of the hull while the front part is raised and that we need to take care of when we are gluing. Then we are going to need some holes for our motor shanks. I found it best to have the hole 21 millimeters above the hull underside here. I also drilled a pilot hole in order to try out from the inside to see if it fits. I'm going to drill an 11 mm hole for the shank and a 4 mm hole for the pilot hole. And when done, then please look inside. I found it perfect if the hole almost scrapes the inner part of the hull like this. When the hole is completed, I prepare the boat for uh, mounting the gear. So I've uh, sanded down the area where I will glue in the motor holders. I also sanded around the edges where the transducer is going to be glued in. And in addition, behind, I have also sanded around the area where the uh, fitting, glue fitting, will hold the shank. I also sanded around the edges where the bolts holding the weed guards comes in. In addition, I even sanded outside where the shank will come through the hull. I'm really thorough here because water leakage in underhull is catastrophic. I even filed around the edges of the transducer and attached the holder so it should be easier to glue it in. And then I practice multiple times on how to fit that in and then finally put glue on it and stuck it very carefully in place. After carefully taping, I glued it twice from the outside, removed the tape and the result came out okay. I paid especially attention to the front hair. 
Next up is the motors and the shanks, and I flatten using a Dremel on both the motor shank and the propeller shank so that the set screws on the coupler can bite itself on a flat spot. Before gluing in the motors, let's do some practice and measurements. Everything is now sanded and cleaned. I even sanded the shank. And I put a couple of uh, spots with uh, tape just to find out where the front and the end of the motor holder is. Then I practice how I should push the shank in from the outside. And the shank is now marked where the entry point will be and where the glue will be. And then finally everything prepared. So I start to glue in the motor, not too much glue, push it in between the tape bits and then put glue on the outside and carefully enter down the shank, hitting that coupler, pushing it in, good. Then I continued pushing the glue against the shank from the outside and finally pressing and adjusting the motor so everything got straight. Finally, I could add the glue fitting that will hold the shank. And using my fingers and some cleaner, tabbed it hard. Mounting the weed guards, it's really straightforward. It's going to sit flush with the bottom in the middle of the hull part and the propeller will look almost like this. Uh, the weed guard comes flat. You have to bend it on the, on the right edge and it has two mounting holes on each side and you'll find it easier to have an edged drill to do this hole taking. I might have been overly cautious here, but I even cleaned my bolts and nuts. Even if it's very messy, I put glue on the bolts, press them through so a glue comes into the hole, then mount the nut and press down that glue. And then finally, when it's tightened, we tab glue all around to make it waterproof. And the time has come to measure and mount the bait trap. Um, the tray plate has four holes. Uh, for that we use two hinges. They perfectly align. Uh, the hinges uh, close uh, this way. And as you will see, the holes are perfectly aligned. Uh, we're going to measure up 1.8 centimeters from the side. I'm going to make a line, put the tray over, and then find that line in these holes. It's important to allow a slight glitch in front for movement. And then at the back on the side, you will see there is an opening. And for that, we have a separate part. This one is going to be fixed like this, and then it will be perfect. I recommend you make one hole first and ensure that it's room for the bolts inside and then add glue to the bolts and tighten down all of the nuts so the bait tray sits just right. And then you finalize adding glue over the bolts and the nuts for waterproofing. I have now also glued in that part below and you can see the edge going around the bait tray here. And when we close that lid, it's a perfect fit. If we also turn the bolt and look on the underside, you can see that part glued in here sits all the back and then along the edge to the left here. And we'll close the lid again and you see it's a perfect match. And then the time has come to check is our work waterproof and for an underhull it's absolutely no room for error at all 
Let it sit in the water for quite some time and inspect everything. It's not allowed to come even a single drop through. If it does, fix it and test it again until it's entirely waterproof. And finally, the under hull is ready, so is the upper. And the question is, how in the world do we then fix that Raymarine transducer and put it into a small box like this with an antenna socket? And for sure, I'm not the best guy to tell you this. I've talked to Philip, and he has made a super video on exactly how we do it. The quality of this video is just amazing. And I'll put a link in the description below. Even if you don't understand German, the video is so high quality, you'll be able to follow it just looking at the pictures. And then we finally hit the end. In the upcoming video, we're gonna mount that gear in the box to the left into the underhull and finalize the boat.